Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. my candle i just got at target we colin and i quickly ran to target they had toilet paper so we're good um and i got this new candle from studio mcgee but i actually really like the outside and the top so after it's burnt out then i can use it to hold like my cotton balls and stuff and it smells so good we got the is it cypress and juniper i think so it smells like, like tree yeah anyway i'm really excited to burn it so I'm about to light her up. And then I also got some thank you cards to send to my bridesmaids who went on my bachelorette trip. And main purpose was to get some of these greens because it's my favorite. And they sell them at Whole Foods, but they're cheaper at Target. Just letting everybody know if you need some greens. And they actually taste really, really good. So I have my smoothie and I'm about to go into my um, office, I believe. Probably my office. Not out here. I don't know. We're about to get some work done. Today is such a gloomy day. It's been pouring and dark out all day and it's really contributing to my motivation and I think my happiness. <laughs> I'm just having like a bad day. Like I'm very unmotivated. I feel like I could fall asleep at any minute. And I think that's because I'm like severely stressed out because you guys know if you saw the last vlog about like the wedding and stuff. But it's just stressing me out so bad and I just don't even know what to do. Morale is still low. I've gotten some computer stuff done, but I just don't know, man. I just don't know. You know when you have a midlife crisis and you're like, what the F am I doing? I feel like that's what I am right now. That's how I am today. I'm like, what am I really doing now? So that's how I feel. I don't know, today's just not the best. And mindset is a choice and I totally know that. I always have to have something in my hand at all times. Um, the way you like respond to things and the way you look at things is a complete choice. And I guess right now I'm choosing to be very um, negative. <laughs> it's not that I'm being negative, it's just that I'm like not in a very good headspace and I'm having a hard time. Like for the past, I feel like a couple days, I feel like at any moment of the day I could just like cry and it really sucks. Sorry to be like down and like not happy. I also think that I get seasonal depression because in the winter and the fall, I say I like the winter and the fall better because I would rather wear those clothes, but I also am not as happy in the winter and the fall. And I also get really lonely really easily and I like work from home and there's not really like places to go because of COVID and stuff, you know? And I would prefer to not wear the mask because I would get mask knee. So there's really no point in like going outside. I guess I could go for a walk, but it's freezing and it's gloomy out and I don't even want it to start raining at like any point in time. But I mean, I could go for a walk. Does it sound like the best thing? I don't know. I might, I could go for a walk and listen to a podcast, but then I don't even know where I would walk to. It's like all very confusing. I've li literally, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've got nothing else to do today. And I feel like I should like be working on stuff, but there's like nothing to work on. I don't know. Do I like go for a walk? Is it cold outside? It looks freezing, I'm not gonna lie. Hello, I'm better now. I just needed a minute. I think, anyways, whatever. Today was a bust. 
tomorrow will be better it's just sometimes if you're in a really bad mind space you just need to do things my arm is just hurting from more theory. you need to do things to get yourself out like get off of social media and take a break it's really dark in here isn't it and just take a minute and so i just did like computer work but i tried to like put my phone down and do some video planning and kind of like form a plan for the rest of this week i think part of the reason was i didn't really have like a big to-do list for today because it's like whatever anyway so i'm about to cook dinner and then it's soup so i'm starting a little bit early and while it cooks i think i'm gonna start reading it ends with us but i mean something could change and like come up and then i don't have time to read but that's like my plan right now here i'll show you what i'm making it's hella fresh of course i'm making rustic farro and pork sausage soup so here's the plans anyways i've just been doing a lot of um online just like researching things looking up things just things you know what i mean a whole lot of nothing it feels like but <laughs> I don't know it's fine i like to work on the weekends anyway so we're just gonna consider this my off day and then i'll do some makeup stuff for today this weekend and it'll all be great and fine and we're all good and dandy and i still have no updates on the wedding because nothing was figured out today which is another thing that stressed me out but we're gonna be all right okay the soup is doing its thing i'm comfy and i did finish in time i probably have like oh my goodness things are happening anyway i finished with like 20 minutes to read which is amazing so i'm about to go snuggle up over here i'm trying to decide if i want to put a barefoot dreams blanket on my wedding registry i feel like i should here's how the soup turned out i think i might need to put this on instagram that one's a good one also colin's home and i'm only on page 12 of this book i think 14. oh my goodness you were a really big hit in the last vlog, by the way. Is that really? Yeah. Was it, was, did you just post the one where I did a rant? Yeah. Oh. Also, Zach loved your rant. Oh, Wesley really? Ann told me today. That's good. Yeah. Okay, can you hurry? Okay, anyways, I'm on page 14 and this book's already good. I'm already intrigued. I'm very, um, I'm liking it. My forehead's a mess, just don't look at it. But two people have already messaged me saying that this book, and they've used the same word of wrecked, that this book has wrecked them. One girl said she was crying on a beach, and another girl said just wrecked her. So, that makes me a little bit nervous. But it's totally fine. But maybe I won't cry. Who knows? Good morning, guys. Colin's alarm is going off in the background. I'm already feeling so much better today. It's also December 1st, so a whole new month. And we're gonna have a whole new mindset because I've had a couple days lately where I've just been feeling very down. And I'm kind of over it, and I don't wanna feel that way anymore. So instead of dwelling in my sorrows, I'm gonna do something to fix it. So that's what I'm doing, focusing on myself starting today with focusing on myself i slept in because we went to bed late because i was on the phone with my mom and my aunt and my cousin reagan which i just have to shout her out really quick because i'm so proud of her because she well she started off at um the university of arizona and didn't like it then she transferred to the university of minnesota and was just like i still don't like this i'm not doing what i actually want to be doing because she's like so she has the best style and so good at fashion and things like that so I don't know why I'm whispering. I just wanted to say I'm really proud of her for not doing like the typical like I'm just gonna go to college and get my degree because this is what I'm supposed to do and said she said no like this isn't for me and this isn't what I want to do so she applied to FIT in New York the fashion school in New York and she got in and then she applied to her major and she got in and I'm just so proud of her because she deserves this so much and I love her so much and that's like really putting me in a good mood. Anyways, I'm just really happy for her. I'm really proud of her. Anyway, side note. That was a side note. But, yeah. Anyway, today we're going to change things around. We're going to change it. And we are going to do our best. But I was up late talking to them because we were ordering stuff for the wedding. Because there were some things that were on sale for Cyber Monday. And so we needed to order it. And now I'm in my gym clothes. And we are going to go do a Peloton ride. And get ready for the day. I need to do my motivational quote. And, um, yeah. Also, 
I don't know if you guys saw it, but a couple vlogs ago, um, I had a call with Liz, who is my, like, she's a personal trainer, and she sends me weekly workouts to do on the days that I do go Peloton, and so I'm gonna do um, her workout today as well. She sends me two workouts a week for Tuesdays and Thursdays when I go Peloton and then lift in the gym. And I just follow her workout. It's literally so easy that I don't have to like sit there and think about anything. And I told her like about my specific goals and stuff. So I have her workout document on my phone. And I am going to do those too. <laughs> It's the worst it's been in a very, very long time. But I need to film a sit down video for you guys today for my Wednesday video. I'm doing a what's on my wedding registry vid because I'm not doing a what I got for Christmas video or what I want for Christmas because I want a wedding for Christmas. <laughs> so um, anyway, I'm gonna film that right after I eat though because I'm very, very hungry. But speaking of bad skin, I have a, um, med spa consultation for a facial like what i'm like determining what kind of facial i need on thursday and i have a dermatologist appointment next monday to conquer my dry lips because i've just had it and i have tried everything and i can't figure out what to do so anyway i'm doing that i scheduled all that and I've just been doing computer work ever since I got home. So, yeah, nothing too crazy, but I am gonna go to Home Goods today and go get myself a coffee because I feel like I deserve it. And a lot of people have been posting this one coffee um, recipe thing from Starbucks, and I would like to try it. So I figured I would just go try it. I've seen um, Rachel Racky post it a lot too. I initially saw it on TikTok too. Um, and then I've just seen it so many times that I wanna try it. So. If you haven't noticed, I'm like my favorite people right now. Ooh, let me tell you. Okay, I've been really liking Rachel Ratke's vlogs and Maria Bethany. I've been really liking her a lot. She's getting married in Cabo, which is where I was supposed to get married, so that's funny. But um, I literally found her a couple days ago and I've been binge watching her vlogs. So yeah, if you need somebody to watch, Maria Bethany. I really like her. Okay, I just recorded my what's on my wedding registry video and I just talk so fast <laughs> and I really don't <clears throat> realize that I'm doing it in the moment and then I look back and edit it and I'm like wow why am I talking so fast and in that video I was definitely talking so fast so we love that um I'm gonna go ahead and let you know that my outfit is all very, very old and I'm totally outfit repeating of very old pieces, but I'm just wearing a black long sleeve turtleneck and it's from Free People. And then I'm wearing this waffle oversized little crop sweater and some black Free People jeans. And that's my look for today. But anyway, I'm about to go run errands to Home Goods <laughs> because I wanna go there. I'm trying to push this back. Colin is working today and he left without doing his dishes thinking I was gonna do them and he is like absolutely wrong. They will be sitting there when he gets home. I decided I am gonna put the Christmas tree up. I thought about not doing it for a second then I was like, no, I can't do that. Anyway, um, I just need Colin to help me bring it in. We were gonna do that today and then I guess we're gonna switch it to tomorrow because um, he, I try, I'm not that was what we said podcast. Um, he wasn't initially working today and then he switched to, um, with his boss. Honestly, I'm leaving to go do stuff because I just feel like I've been inside for far too long. Okay, I just pulled up to Starbucks, but this one is in a drive-thru. So before I left, I ordered on my phone 
basically just want to get out of the house and it's my choices were between Target and Home Goods. So I figured Home Goods to see if I can find a Sarah Brooke painting yet again. This is gonna be like a weekly thing. Um, we're just on the hunt. So yeah. Sometimes you just really need to get out of the house. And I got a lot, a lot of computer work done today and just filmed that video. So I was like we can take a little afternoon break before I go back home and probably edit the video. Um, I just want to let everyone know that it ends with us. I'm only, like I told you, on page like 14, but I just can't wait to keep reading it. I just really haven't had time. I used to fly through books, and now it's taking me a solid week or so to finish them because of like how stressed out I am, I think, and like what I'm planning and stuff. Um, so anyways, it's fine. I can take that long to read my books. I was surprised by how fast I was reading them in the first place. Okay, I just ran in. Oh, I should have turned my car on. Okay, so it's a grande iced coffee. Here, I'm just gonna go over the water and through the woods in a for you to screenshot. Grande iced coffee, no classic syrup, two pumps of I forgot white mocha, and the vanilla sweet cream cold foam on the top. So we'll give it a shot. It sounded really good, and I never know what to order at Starbucks to be honest. So I'm gonna give it a go. I hate how dark it gets so early. It's depressing. That probably is a like, contributing factor to my bad mood so far this week. Okay, here we go. Let's try it. Oh my gosh. We like that. We really like that. Mm, just made eye contact with this woman. Fabulous. Okay. I'm going in. Okay, I had to switch to my phone because I didn't even realize that my battery was close to being dead. I just need to switch out the battery when I get home, but no luck. Look at my lips. Oh my god, I need to go to the freaking dermatologist so bad. No luck at Home Goods. No, I don't know where to look. I know the camera's over here. Okay, no luck at Home Goods. No Sarah Brooke painting from middle of nowhere, but it is okay. We will find one one day. When I'm meant to get a Sarah Brooke painting, I will get a Sarah Brooke painting. So, anyway, I'm at Ulta right now because I usually use a Mamande lip sleep mask and I ran out and my lips instantly got really, really bad as soon as I ran out. So, I'm gonna go get another one. Since lip injections is pumping hyaluronic acid into your lips, apparently it helps with lip dryness as well. So, I mean, that's a plus if I ever did that one day, but at this point, I'm willing to do it to get rid of my dry lips that burn so bad. They literally burn so bad, so we will see. Okay, we're in Ulta, hi. and um, like I just said, How's hi, do you want to introduce man? yourself? I'm Alan. It's nice to meet you guys. I'm a huge fan of Bianca's. And so, you work here? Yes. Well, actually, I'm a vendor, but yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, wait, who are you a vendor for? So, I'm a vendor for Dry Bar and Philosophy. Oh, my so, God, you're so I'm cool. I'm in here sometimes. So. And Flawless. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. So you. <laughs> I think we might need to be best friends yes, after this. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so yeah. he just wanted to say hi, made yes, the vlog. Hi. Now you'll watch yourself That's later. That's so cool. Yes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, I'm back home. I'll show you what I got from Ulta but I met somebody in Ulta I would have just played the clip but it, Alan it was so nice to meet you he was literally so cool I wanted to sit there and talk with him for like a long time but I knew he had to work so anyway that was so fun I love meeting you guys in public and Alan if you're watching this you are literally so cool and if you're ever in Charlotte want to hang out or do anything let me know because you seem like an amazing person so it's funny how when you go to like a couple stores your mood totally boosts has anyone ever seen the movie confessions of a shopaholic because reaching dangerous territories okay so i couldn't find the lano lips so i'm trying out the first day beauty because i love first day beauty and um the products i've tried for them before so i'm trying their ultra repair lip therapy so let's just go ahead and give this a shot and then i also got my mamande the tag for the other mask just fell into this but my mamande lip sleeping mask okay just attacked it trying to open it so basically this is what it looks like it's so so good and then this got me at the checkout line it's the um ordinary is it buffet or buffet i think it might be i don't know gosh i don't know how to pronounce things anyway i looked at the reviews while i was standing in line and they were really really good so i'm gonna give it a shot see how i like it um hopefully this will help my skin I don't know. 
she needs a facial. Okay, let's give this guy a shot too. It's hard to get stuff out. I kind of have my lipstick all over it too. Okay. I like the way it smells. I like the way it feels. I'll, get, I'll keep you updated, obviously. I'm not gonna know how good it is on the first shot. Anyway, that was my little Ulta haul. And I used my points, so I got $12 off. We love it. Okay, also, is this normal? I like my outfit today. I'm sad I decided to get ready at like four o'clock. And yeah, okay. My new candle lit. Guys, everyone needs this candle. It was in the home decor section in the front at Target. And tonight for dinner, we are doing a blackened chicken penne. I'm just gonna come over to the mirror to talk. Oh, also, Lily Sweets, literally my favorite chocolate company ever, sent me this package, so, so nice. I'm so excited to try this. It's gingerbread milk chocolate, so. I'm obsessed with them. If you guys didn't know, it's um, no sugar added. Stevia sweetened, um, like baking chips, and they have chocolate sweets, chocolate covered almonds, stuff like that, literally. It is so good. I talk about them all the time. I have it in a while, usually, because I eat a lot of their stuff in the winter. Over the summer, I don't like crave chocolate or anything, but they're amazing. Also, I had all intentions of reading my book before it was time to start cooking dinner. And then Jessica Stockstill announced that she was pregnant and I got really, really distracted. So I've been watching her video. Now it's time to start cooking. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm like waving this knife around, lovely. I'm just very excited for her. That's so exciting. Her content's about to pop off. Not that it was already bad, but now I'm very intrigued. Cooking, sorry for cloud. I definitely go through phases of baby fever. I think mainly like it's heightened just because of my little sister and like seeing her on thanksgiving and she's just so cute i know i didn't vlog on thanksgiving but like i i'm biased because i am her sister mm. alexa stop the timer sorry if i just set off your alexa i'm biased because she is my little sister and she is hold on sorry i'm trying to adjust my camera she's like physically related to me through blood but she's so cute. Like you cannot sit here if you've seen what she looks like. Um, I post her all the time on my Instagram if you're new here. Not all the time because I don't really see them very often because they don't live super close to us. I post her every time I'm with her on my Instagram and she is just such a cute baby. So that makes me have baby fever because she's so cute. But now that we're watching The Handmaid's Tale, there's a lot of babies in that show and just Jessica stops still getting pregnant. I just go through phases where I'm like, I do not want kids until I'm like 28. And then I go through phases where I'm like, I want a baby now. Obviously I don't and Colin and I aren't having kids anytime soon. We're not even married. Not that you have to be married to have kids because you don't. Um, but that's, we would like to be married before we have kids. Anyways, what I'm saying is we're not having a baby anytime soon, but I definitely go through phases where I'm like, I really want a baby. And I go through phases where I'm like, I don't want a baby for a very long time, like years. So anyways, right now I'm in uh, definitely have baby fever phase. I was just sitting here cooking thinking about it. Alexa, pause. Hey. Hello. What you do? Dinner's done, babe. Dinner oh, is done. Perfect time. I know, right? Look good. Yeah, it's gonna be really good. Trying to. Hello. Smells good. It's black and chicken. How does this work? That's good. Just because Socks still is pregnant. I would like to be pregnant. No, no, no. Okay. Not for a while. Okay. Mm. Well, then let's eat if you're not getting pregnant. <laughs> I can't tell who got more. There we go. Now it's finished. Time to eat. I can't wait. Good morning. Today's a crazy day because Colin got up before I did. He said he couldn't sleep, which was nuts. He got up at like 5.30. But here is my set in Onyx. I don't think I showed you guys, but I got this set and I got espresso and an oat milk sweatshirt. I had to. I really wasn't going to get anything else. And then I just have a shopping addiction we all know it um anyways so today i'm wearing onyx 
And these box cut bras are slowly becoming my favorite. Actually, I think that they are my favorite. I just like them better than the box X, I think. I like because they're more thick. And the box X, this the front material here isn't like this rip material. It's a little bit different. And I like this material better. Just giving everybody an update. I've just realized that I do like this one better. Sometimes the straps when I'm running start to go like this, but I just fix them. It doesn't bother me. Anyway, also, um, I started putting crushed ice in my pre-workout, and it's kind of a game changer. Then the little ice cubes kind of come out, and it's sort of like a little slushy. I don't really like snow cones and stuff like that, but this is different because it's pre-workout. And, um, I don't know, I also love ice, so like chewing on the little bits and pieces of ice when they come out with the pre-workout is really nice. So, just, just a little hack. Try putting crushed ice in your pre-workout. I'm just gonna leave my camera here because it's really cold. <laughs> I will see you guys after my little workout. Smoothie time action. I'm back home. Whew, lately, I don't know why, Actually, I do know why. It's because I'm chronically stressed. <laughs> I have chronic stress. Um, just at the moment. Um, my workouts are kicking my butt. I get so out of breath on the treadmill and I just feel so weak. And I know it's stress. Like, stress does so much on the body. I just feel so weird. And I also was like getting real nauseous in the middle of the rower. And I was like, what is this? So, I don't know. Things are really weird for me right now. Sorry that in this vlog and like the last one no two vlogs ago two videos ago i guess i should say i've just been an emotional wreck but to be honest i don't know how to fix it <laughs> i'm trying that's the thing though like you can try really hard to turn your day around but sometimes it just doesn't work i mean yesterday i did a pretty good job and i'm in a good mood today don't get me wrong i'm in a good mood today but i'm just saying like sometimes you just need like a bad week or so and it's like not a problem you know what i mean like you don't have to be happy all the time that's unrealistic for sure so yeah anyways i'm just having a couple stressful weeks that's all it'll be over it doesn't last forever okay guys i'm not putting makeup on until i'm done editing my video so i can do another round of face lotion also i just found something on Facebook Marketplace for my office. And so I uh, am hoping that this happens for us today. We'll see. This is what it looks like. And it's pretty much everything I've wanted because it looks just like the France and Sun stand. The France and Sun um, credenzas that look like this are $1,100 and this is 99 and they look virtually similar. Okay. Today has been literally crazy. I haven't even had time to put makeup on today. It's so dark out, we're so sorry. Um, but now we're eating dinner. We ended up getting Chipotle for dinner. I'm gonna explain everything that went on today, tomorrow. But it was basically just a very emotionally draining day. <laughs> Yet again, we have a bad, it wasn't a bad day, it was just very emotionally draining. Is it not playing? Ah, I Now The Handmaid's Tale isn't playing. It means we gotta watch Dark Knight. No, but I just, could not Bianca's never seen The Dark Knight. Put my phone down. I mean, light up the comments. Computer. Bianca has not seen The Dark Knight. Oh. It's a problem, isn't it? Yes. I'm so stressed out. I'm breaking out everywhere. Um, Why the freaking. So, yeah, I did my makeup today. I had a huge computer day. I had a couple phone calls. Just, I had. Today was a busy day for me. And then I've been on the phone with my mom and my aunt, my cousin Reagan, trying to figure out more wedding planning stuff since they're all together. And that just stresses me out because it's a lot of opinions in one place. And my wedding planner is currently in Jamaica, so she's cool. Um, but it's hard when she's like not around. And there's just so, there's so much unknown and so much we're trying to figure out. And we like change a couple things. And also, I'm the type where my like the things I like evolve very fast and easily so it's like things that i liked like a couple months ago i'm like actually i don't really like that i want to do this instead or like things that i liked a bunch of people started doing and now i'm like okay i don't like to be like everyone else so i want to change it i'm gonna pull the dark knight no no, no. just restart the tv babe i need to help him because i don't want to watch the dark knight i want to watch him myself 
Okay, so yesterday I just got really busy with work and stuff and calls and wedding planning. I seriously think yesterday I spent the majority of my day on the phone with my mom and my aunt and I'd my say, cousin. I'd say that's true. Yeah, um, just trying to like figure things oh, out wow. and talking about how things are laid out, where things are happening, just like a whole lot of stuff. And at that point, it's like there's four different opinions involved. So it was a lot of like back and forth and some screaming. <laughs> but it's okay because I'm very thankful that they are helping me and doing all of that. It's just sometimes you got to lay down the law and tell them what you want and let them know that what you want isn't what they want and it's your wedding and not theirs. So we did that. And it was all good. Me and Reagan were like, but that's not what Bianca wants. We were so, yeah. Anyways, so this morning and today, well, first of all, today at 3.30, I have a, um, I've got a consultation of my skin for a facial, so I'm excited about it. I know, right? And um, it'll be nice, too, when I get the facial, and then I'm going to come with bright skin, and I feel like I really need it because my skin is a disaster. My lips are not even, this is like, my lips are so red because they're burning. Um, Colin and I are about to go in Peloton. Peloton. Yeah, we got a lot of good things work-related done yesterday and figured out. So we're feeling really good about today. Moving forward, some stress has been relieved. We are doing well. So Peloton it is this morning for us. We just did an Alley Love 45 minute intervals and arms or arms and intervals. I don't remember which way it is. Now we're gonna do a stretch from the Peloton. Peloton stretch. Here, I'll show you guys. Guys, Colin sass level today is high. Yet again. What? Okay. I'm I made a heartfelt post and I'm waiting for you to read it. I'm, I'm going to read it. I'm so hungry and we need to go to I'm the... I'm very hungry too, so that's probably why. We need to go to the Trader Joe's. We need to go to the Trader Joe's. So, it's so dark right now. Hold on, let me fix this. Some little egg tacos really quick just to tide me over. Okay, I'm going to do scrambled eggs because... That's what I'm in the mood for. Plus, I don't know how you would do an over easy egg in a taco, so that doesn't even make any sense.
good enough. <laughs> Just gotta add a little bit of flavor. I forgot to grab my vitamins. Dang it. Colin and I have officially decided that we've got baby fever. We discussed it last night, but we said no. <laughs> and he brought it up. A fine one. It's funny because I brought it up to you guys not when he was around, and then yesterday he said it to me, and I was like, oh my god, I said that to the vlog the other day, like a couple days ago, so it was funny, but we said no. We need puppy fever. Puppy fever comes first. Mm. I think they're good. In the elevator. Okay, we're going to Starbucks first. I'll order it online, so I just have to run in and get it. Do you want something? And then Trader Joe's. Okay, we just took the Christmas tree that was in the back seat upstairs. So I can decorate when we get back from the Trader Joe's before I go to my little facial consultation. It looks so fall out. Doesn't it? Yeah. I'm filming vlogging because my camera doesn't fit in my purse. We got our coffee. Okay. okay. Yeah. Here's what I got. Here, let's pull this out. Okay, which ones? So busy, always busy here. Here's everything we got. So I'm hoping I can just revive them. Okay, the iPhone camera is actually pretty good for vlogging. Like there's a clear difference, but it's not bad. Anyway. No, it's not. It's not bad at all. Yeah, I just iPhone vlog when I'm away from the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Colin's taking the cart back. And we got bones that we can bake Sky and Morty, Colin's parents' dogs. So I'm excited to do that. I like want to go over to their house today and do that. I don't know if we will, but. Blackberries in here too. Colin is screaming. Colin had coffee. I told you I was a freaking hype now. Literally, I had coffee, a frappuccino, and I had pre workout this morning. Had two Birocs to eat. And now, I told Bianca, I was like, well, we found some new stuff to make mules, and it's like the stuff we've never used before, so I was super excited. And she's like trying to said. guilt trip me for wanting to have a drink right now, because it's 12, I'm it's, not it's guilt noon. Tripping. You know what, you know what I have to say? You know what I have to say? And I'm sure you guys can agree. It's COVID, it's 2020, we haven't made drinks at home in forever, and I've got nothing to do today except sit at home and edit, so why am I not gonna make a drink? And we've got all this new stuff. Go ahead and put an emoji of a hand in the comments to agree with me. So if you agree with me, put a hand in the emoji or emoji hand in the comments. Can you not? <laughs> and be like, Collins, Collins. She just put. Did you see that? This could kill me. This is dangerous, it's guys. It's wide open. Just so you guys don't try that at home. <laughs> She's she does this stuff sometimes, and it's really it's weird. Can oh, you give them a haul? Let's carry. So you guys want a haul? So we've got some. Okay, or, haul. So organic Caesar salad kit, the regular here in this house. Got two of them. Then we've got some organic baby spinach, another regular. We're putting that in the smoothies every day. Then we've got some non-dairy oat beverage, aka oat milk. Very awesome. Very tasty. Um, it, it honestly tastes like oatmeal cookies mixed with milk. Um, so then coffee creamer, the go-to. We got some ground beef, 96% lean, baby, for some tacos. Then we've got some brie because I really wanted some we haven't had in a while, and some goat cheese. Um, also, let's see, cut and peel carrots, organic Trader Joe's. All right, this is literally the best thing in the frickin' world from Trader Joe's. Orange chicken, we get like four to five packs of it. Uh, we got two for now, but we already had two left over. Vegetable fried rice, I love this stuff. Super easy to make. Um, organic jasmine rice as usual. Another thing that we, we mix this with the orange chicken. Awesome. Um, oh, gnocchi, awesome stuff. We love it. Uh, we make chicken parmesan with this and it's fire. As I'm sure you guys already know. Um, buffalo style chicken dip. Bianca loves this stuff, it's pretty good. Um, let's see. This is another 
Trader Joe's bomb right here. This French vanilla ice cream, it's so good. It's not like other French vanilla ice cream. It's like mega sweet. Then we've got some Green Goddess of Bianca Legs. Then, let's see. You're slowing down. Bunch of strawberries, blackberries. These are for smoothies. And then, got some tiny avocados. These are also for smoothies. Got some organic corn dippers. Bianca loves these for her dips. Some crackers for the cheeses. Uh, cheese seeds, these also are in the smoothies. This is new. Uh, Bianca says this is new. Pepita salsa. Don't know really what's going it on with that, looks but good. looks like good looks, apparently. Let me see it. Almond butter goes in the smoothies. Here you can put that. Marinara sauce. We are using this for the chicken parm. And then pasta. banana bread mix. Shout out to Wesley Ann because she put Bianca on this and me and Bianca both love it because it's really freaking good and we had banana bread muffins the other night and it was fire. Fire. Fire! Um, Golden Rounds crackers, I picked these out because Bianca liked the other ones and I didn't really want those. Um, let's see, we got some coffee. Then we got some olive oil. And spicy taco sauce. Apparently we're gonna make my dog's biscuits, so we got this. <laughs> Me and Connor are doing And this then right some salami, that's also for the cheese. That was the whole haul. Where'd you put my coffee? Oh. Anyway, I'm gonna put that all away now, but that was what we got at Trader Joe's. So my plan is, oh, we got some new flowers. I haven't got a call in haul in a long time. So. You forgot to show me your ginger beer. Oh, shoot. How the heck? Okay, see. Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 so, we got this, it's called Triple Ginger Brew. It's pretty much ginger beer, but it's apparently super strong, super strong like very gingery, and I'm pretty excited about it because I feel like our mules actually really don't ever taste very gingery. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we got this, it looks really cool too. Um, it was only three bucks at Peter Joe's. They have the most inexpensive. And then, I thought this, stuff. we were going down this aisle and I kept telling Bianca, I was like, I was like, babe, they have so much cool stuff for mixing on this aisle. They have so much cool stuff for mixing on this aisle. I'll cut that out for you. And um, <laughs> we went. We ended up going back after getting in line to pay because I was like, let's go look down that aisle again because you weren't paying attention to me. So then we went, looked back down it, got this baby and this baby. And also kind of kudos to us because I feel like during the beginning of COVID, we were drinking a <gasps> Ow, we were making a lot of drinks at home and like having drinks quite often and I feel like no we got in wedding mode Well, anyways, I feel like Did we Probably saved a good amount. Of, yeah, I already showed him that I feel like we probably saved a lot of money because we haven't drank in a long time the vodka that we have um, We've had since our old apartment and we've had since literally the yeah, it's like yeah. we've had it for so long and I am finally about to break into it and make some awesome freaking Moscow mules, so I'm pretty excited, and I'm gonna have a drink. Okay, that's are you Bianca's turn. Um, okay, I'm gonna organize. Also, my guys, flowers. if this is your first time here, welcome back to my channel. Um, I really appreciate all of you guys for watching, and if you really enjoyed that, if you enjoyed that haul, please, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. This is Colin's segment. Um, I hope you guys appreciated it. Bianca's itching my butt. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> Anyways, peace out, guys. <laughs> a lot of people were saying to get a bar, like, drink kit. Um, but we already have one. It's from Crate and Barrel. My dad got this for me and Colin. My dad and Tara. I think it was for Christmas last yeah, year. Yeah, for Christmas last year. It's pretty dope. Yeah, and he picked out the best color.
look what time it is. Look at oh, this. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. There's still plenty of room to turn on the volume. I don't know. Hold on. Let me help him. Hold up. I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good good time Is coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Here we are, we're done. We're keeping it simple this year, nothing crazy. Cause it feels like it's July, in my opinion. This side looks pretty weak, not gonna lie, but I don't even care. What, that was my side? Are you serious? This side definitely doesn't look as good. I think it looks good. There's like holes, like there's no decorations right there. Look, it's all about being... No. You're just not as good as home decor as I am. No, it's about minimalism, okay? Okay, I've washed my face to take off all my makeup, but I'm currently on my way to my skin consultation thing. I'm done, that was so quick. So, um, they told me to go get some Aquaphor and Hydrocortisone cream for my lips, so I'm about to pick up Colin. Actually, I'm already here, I'm waiting for him. Um, but that was just to solve my lips. I've scheduled two appointments for a chemical peel and a hydrofacial. And so um, I'm doing one in December and one in January. And then they said I should be good because um, they don't want to do anything too close to the wedding. And they said for my chapped lips that um, I should come in for a lip injection filler consultation to show me before and afters and figure out how much I would need and everything like that because they said that it would really help and that my lips would look really pretty for the wedding. So I'm obviously intrigued. So I'm going for a consultation. Um, I think next week but it went really well it was like super quick in and out yeah my lip consultations next Tuesday and she was like are you breaking out all the time and I was like nope I'm just stressed so anyways it went really good I'm gonna go pick up aquaphor and the cream though and all you guys told me to put on aquaphor anyway so you guys are all so smart good job okay Christmas tree is lit this is what we just made for dinner it was HelloFresh barbecue pineapple flatbreads yes they look great also I'm glad that we didn't really decorate the tree very much because literally we're gonna have to take it down in like 20 days, 23 days. Oh my gosh, you guys. Today was one of those days when I set the alarm and it went off once and I hit snooze and it didn't go off again. So I'm running. I'm running around. 
trying to get ready. My orange theory class is at 7.30. It's 7.15. We need to leave right now. And my alarm went off at 5.45 once. And then I snooze it for eight minutes and get up. And it never went off again. So I'm freaking out. And I'm not trying to hurry. And I need to make my rubber go crown. And I'll see you in the corner. Okay, I will never understand how that happens when you, what the heck, why isn't it coming out? You, oh, I'm so all over the place right now. When you set your alarm and you hit snooze and I, it went off at 5.45, I was like, oh, it's 5.45 and I hit snooze. And then it never went off again and I know I hit snooze because I didn't touch the screen at all I always just hit the lock button on the side which snoozes it and I do that every day and every day it goes off again and I even asked Colin I was like did you hear it go off again and I was I just like did I fall back asleep that hard that I didn't even hear it and he's like nope I didn't hear it so why does that happen like why do I hit snooze sometimes and then it just turns off like I don't understand I made it. I made it to class. Everything's fine. That was like the worst workout of my life, but I'm pretty sure it's because I, um, you know, she wasn't, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. So anyway, I'm on my way home now to make a smoothie and to get a ton of things done because I'm feeling like I need to turn this day around. <laughs> this whole vlog is me having a really bad week. I'm so sorry. I hope I'm not making you guys stressed because that's not what I would ever want to do. The most positive thing that's happened this week is Jessica Stockstill is pregnant. <laughs> but since I had such a crazy morning, I just sat here and read a couple more chapters in It Ends With Us because I haven't picked it up at all. I'm literally on chapter, I think four, three, not even. So, um, the chapters in this book are really, really long. I'm gonna eat lunch and then get some computer work done. I am being interviewed for a podcast today at four and tonight we're going over to Colin's family's house to do taco bar night and I bought those treats for the dogs at Trader Joe's so we're gonna like make those and stuff. Today's more of like a chill day. So yeah, it's just that time of the year, you know. So it's currently Saturday and I didn't end this vlog yesterday. My podcast recording ended up getting rescheduled until next week. And last night we just went to Colin's family's house. So I was like, me, I'm gonna stop vlogging and I'll just tell you guys everything like what's up today. So I'm about to start editing this video so I can get it up for you guys so you can watch it this Sunday. Um, I also made myself an iced coffee in a mug because I get mugs from like friends and as gifts all the time. Um, but I don't have like a coffee machine so I can never like make hot coffee. So I was like screw it I'm just gonna put my iced coffee in here. So I did I have no idea where this is from because it was a gift, but it's really really cute and also um, I got a phone case in the mail from case to buy so I thought I would just show you guys I'm pretty sure this is the color white sand um, and uh, yeah, here's my new case. <laughs> we love a new case to buy case. I like how simple it is, so I'm excited about it. Anyway, um, I went to Orange Theory this morning and I worked out and I spent the last couple hours blow drying my hair. And tonight we are going to a Christmas party at Wesleyan and Zach's house. I need to go to the store to get a Secret Santa gift or a white elephant gift, whatever, same thing, before I go over there. Um, and I'm waiting to do my makeup like right before we leave. So I figured that I would just end the vlog. Also, I moved that chair in here. There's another one on Target's website and it's the same exact thing, but instead of a tan wood, it's black wood. And I am waiting for it to come back in stock. I'm going to get it for that corner. And the reason I haven't decorated anymore in here is because I'm trying to find a credenza, like it's a fancy term for like a dresser cabinet type thing that I like. Um, and I can't decide if I want it to be black or if I want it to be uh, like tan. So I'm not really pulling the trigger on that until I see something I really, really like. So yeah, this room's gonna be bare for a little bit, but I also ordered a pompous grass on Etsy over a month ago and it's still not here, but I know that I shouldn't have done that, but I did do that. So um, someone in the thing said shipping was fast and now it's been a month, so great. Right. 
Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. And if you are not already subscribed, it would mean so much to me if you hit that subscribe button and stick around. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.